Now we can do a proper walk around. Nineteen sixty seven Mustang convertible. So we got this beautiful blue with a white top. So what he did was he pushed it out and started. What an awesome color. Yeah, that's not the original. We gotta get this thing out in the sun. Let's get some of the details in here. That's the, that is not an original. I think the, the original is just blue. It has some wire wheel covers on it. The top looks like it's been replaced, right? Yes. It's open. Wow. Got a black and blue interior. So having a little bit of trouble getting it started, we're gonna give it a try. I'm pretty good with these old carbureted cars, as long as the battery's holding up. It should be all right. Well, the battery's about five years old. Okay. <laughs> well, let's pop the hood. Yeah, I passed by one time because I was looking at the 280ZX. This is a really original looking engine bay. You got a 200 cubic inch straight six. You know, you would think this would be like a 289 car or something like that. You get probably great gas mileage. Look at that. I believe that to be the original radiator. Uh, yeah, it has a good Right. New cap, new hoses. You see it has a new distributor and wires, uh, new mechanical fuel pump. New master cylinder. It's a power steering car and power brakes. Yeah, I had those put on. Yeah? Because the other ones I couldn't even manage. I couldn't stop the car. <laughs> so I had. Wow, this guy's got a great chopper. Yeah, these are. Uh, He's into some really cool stuff. He has more than this in his garage. A couple of TT500 four stroke Yamahas. You'll have to put me in touch with him at some point in time. I'd like to do a couple of videos on these bikes. Oh, all right. All right, we're going to climb in the driver's side here real quick. Beautiful upholstery. It's a light blue on a dark blue two-tone. Plastic rear window. Looks to be a very original car. Uh, probably 104000 we're assuming it rolled over one time. C4 automatic, three speed. 
Let's see if we can get this puppy going. Nineteen sixty seven. Can't get out, huh? Now that cup holder that looks aftermarket. The stereo system, get an updated pioneer. Mustang. And uh let's see what we can get here. Well, you got to hold the gas down if it's flooded. You got to give it a little throttle. Oh. That could have been it. So we don't have a tack. Okay. Warm her up a little bit. The emissions will be enough to kill the small mule. Sounds smooth. Uh. Listen to that baby purr. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like a new battery. We got to see this thing in the light. All right. All right, we're just going to back it out. Brakes take a little getting used to. You know, it's not all that common that people restore six-cylinder cars because they just don't have the the value of the eight. We'll try not to back into a certain 30-year-old Toyota. Let's just do a quick walk around here. 1967. Yeah. Yeah. Do a little walk around here. Okay. All right, she's graced us with a quick drive. It's just purring away here. What an awesome garage. I am jealous of this garage, yes. It's been a lot of years since I drove something that was this age. Oh yeah? Yeah, I used to have a 64 Plymouth, so I can definitely say that I've driven things older. And I also have driven a 1930 Model A quite a few times. Shows too. It's a couple of Model A's. Yeah. And I'm a classic car nut. Ah. So it's so easy for me to get distracted by uh, anything that looks kind of cool sitting in the backyard. Yeah. That, that's... Actually, before they had a, uh, a uh, old Cadillac there and sat there for 10 or 15 years. Yeah. I think we go around the block. Okay. But just be careful. With yeah, there's an old driveway. truck. Yeah, there's a, like a 60, uh, 70 maybe, 71 Chevy. So what, 
what's the story behind this car? How did you end up with this car? Well, um, actually, uh six-cylinder cars but this car drives so nice it's just a beautiful driving car um, I think too many people kind of fixate on you know horsepower and giant engine but if you just want a nice driving car to take to the shows and go out on the country roads uh, this thing is smooth it's quiet I can't believe it's a 67 it's just unbelievable uh, this is great it's running nice and cool Oil pressure's good, the alternator's doing what it's supposed to do. decent charge by driving it around for 15 miles. And, oh, well that's good. Uh, that helps. Uh, this is great. Love the garage. Love the car. Had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Okay. I like it. Yeah. So how did you start? That since you were already trying to crank it up, that you likely had maybe flooded, what they call flooded it. Right. So if you hold down the gas while you crank it, you'll clear out a flooded engine that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't doing that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. What a great car. 67. Uh, kind of like a bygone era. This is a glimpse of how things used to be, right? Yes. That's, that's what you love about it. I know. It takes you back every time. Okay, we're just heading out, leaving that 67 Mustang behind. What a great day. What a great car. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and don't forget to mash that notifications bell. See you next time.